this is a real pleasure and a treat as this is the first aardvark calf ever to be born at Chester Zoo. So at the moment we're a little unsure as to what the sex of the calf is. We'll be able to find that out in a few months time but for now we've nicknamed it Dobby after the Harry Potter character. When we found the calf we could see it had been cleaned up but it was a little bit cold and we opted to take it to the vet centre where our veterinary team took the opportunity to give it a good health check. We opted then to take the aardvark calf home and this is purely because aardvark mums aren't the most, they're a bit clumsy shall we say. The calf being so small and possibly vulnerable, we just uh, felt that was the best option. Um, it gave us the opportunity to also make sure that the, the calf was feeding, and that could be every few hours, including through the night. And this sort of replicates the feeding pattern that the aardvark would experience with its mum. So we bring the aardvark calf back to the zoo every day, where it spends all its day bonding with mum Oni. Other calves are nocturnal, so usually what we see is keepers. There's a curled up asleep mum on it, and the calf either sleeping or suckling in these early stages. So aardvarks are part of an endangered species programme and this calf will go on to maintain that population in zoos. It's a really important addition and in the future hopefully it will go on to pair up and have young of its own and continue that sustainability in, in zoos both in Europe and, and around the world. Mm -hmm.